this is Pete or Kenshin1913 and this is another cooking with Kenshin1913. As you can see I have my special guest here, my dad. Hi. And today we're going to be making what? Pasta carbonara. Yep, a signature Ital egg Italian dish. Oh, for this dish we need a we need pancetta. Pancetta. That's uh, an Italian bacon pancetta that's the belly of the pig. Yeah, and basically it's like a what is it? It's like a cured Italian uh Italian bacon. Yeah. It's kind of a little salty, but it's delicious. What else are we going to need? We got we going to use we going to use uh, to make them healthy, we are going to use a egg substitute and uh but you really shouldn't use when it. they make them they make them with yeah. the eggs. We we're, we're going to we're going to use a combination, right? Or are we just going to use gonna, regular we gonna, eggs? No, we, we're going to put a, some egg sausage and a, one or two eggs. Okay. Uh, <laughs> black pepper. Yeah, we're going to need pepper. We're cheese. Gonna, we're going to need cheese. What kind of cheese Parmesan is that? cheese. Yes. Parmesan. And, a, and a, a healthy macaroni. And a, yeah. All, that's a whole wheat blend past pasta. Yeah. We got penis. All right, so you what... You use any kind of... Cuts. Yes, so what we're going to do first is we're already started boiling the water for our pasta. Now, in a separate frying pan, we're going to add some, uh, a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. And now what we need to do with the pancetta is actually cut it into little cubes. So my dad's going to open that and we'll, and, uh, yeah. Oh, we're going to cut the pancetta. Yeah, you want to make sure to have a nice a little, you uh, know, slice, about quarter inch, half inch thick. This one has got a casing. So yeah. You remove the casing, and then you slice it. And you just gotta and kind of cube it like that. And then. You cube it. You, you you slice them the other way. You get a little cubes. Yeah, that this is what we want for the uh, pancetta. Is base basically, we're gonna be frying this up in a little bit of olive oil because it's going to make its own uh, oil. Uh, this 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 one is that it's not that fatty. Oh, that that's why we put a little olive oil. Otherwise, you, you wouldn't. If you get a someone fattier then you don't need you don't need the oil you because this one's going to make it own fat, uh, the fat makes yeah, it own make its own grease. oil so we want to just keep cutting this and uh make sure to well we'll watch the pancetta on the uh on the oven so dad where'd you learn this recipe uh i'm i'm from italy that's a that's a a dish that they make them in Italy, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we used to eat. Them. Yeah, it's a pretty we simple dish. That's, that's easy to make. It. That's yeah. not hard. Yeah, the really the only thing you you really need is the pancetta. Now, now if you can't find pancetta, could you use regular yeah, bacon? Yeah, you could substitute it with the they call them if you go to to a grocery store. I don't know if they all have it. They call them uh uh thick cut bacon mm -hmm. you, you can use that because you, you need them a little, kind of little thick you can use the bacon it's too thin mm -hmm. little bacon it's too thin and uh or you can in in some store they 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 have a what they call a slab bacon slab bacon yeah, yeah that's cut thick uh it's got a little flavor because it probably it's a smoked, smoked bacon, but uh, yeah. you can use that too. If now you this want bacon it. is a little bit, is a little bit uh, like it's salted a bit, but that that's what helps bring out the flavor is is the salt. Like you don't really need to add any salt to this recipe because you're gonna get plenty from the pancetta. So you um, so we're just gonna continue to cut this and. Uh, throw it in the um, frying pan and as we do uh, just make sure to take off depending on what kind of pancetta you got make sure to take off the casing and just kind of cut it you know it's nothing too simple 
And if you don't like using a sharp knife, have someone else do it, I guess. But yeah. And look at that delicious pancetta frying. Basically what we want to do with this is uh, just kind of let it get a nice brown, right? Yeah. And just, uh, you know, are we going to use the whole pancetta? Oh, probably not. Let me ask you this, Dad. How much pancetta do you think we're actually using? Like maybe uh, about a oh. quarter of a pound, maybe? A little more? If we... Uh, About a half a pound. About a half a pound of pancetta, okay. How much How much does... Uh, well, from where we live, pancetta is not usually that, that cheap, but we... We used to have this meal occasionally, and now we have it. We have it rarely, but it is a delicious dish. This is definitely one of them dishes that it's like a, it's like a nice indulgent dish, where um, you know, you don't have it all the time, but when you have it, damn, it's good. Now you remember that time, Dad, when we went to, we went to Italy, and we went to that Italian restaurant. Obviously, it was Italian, and they had the Asian people working there. And they made that, they made that chicken, uh, I mean, the, the, the carbonara, and it wasn't even carbonara, what was it? Um, it was more uh, Alfredo sauce. Yeah. It was more like an Alfredo, a chicken Alfredo, uh, I mean, a, I don't know why I keep saying chicken, but it was more like a Alfredo sauce than an actual, than an actual, uh, uh, uh the, hell the, the restaurant was up in Venice, but this is this dish is uh, more of a uh, Central Italy of um, South Italy dish. That that because it's, in the north part of Italy they use more cream. They mm -hmm. don't use it. Then they don't use that much of this. So. Yeah. So this is more of a central dish, you said. Central of Italy dish. Center of Italy dish. Cause in the south they like to they like to cook with uh with a lot of what what is it they like to cook with? No, we, in the sauce they use a lot of tomato sauce. Yeah, like in no, North the they, they they use a more creamy sauce. Yeah, you know, they use cream in the sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you can see, the pancetta is frying up very nicely, and you can see it's getting its own all the all the fat that's coming off of it. Although it's not too fatty. I've seen more, I've seen manchetta, much fatty. Alright, well what we're going to do here is basically, we're going to finish frying the pancetta. You want to get it to be a nice, a nice crispy brown. And basically when we're done, we just got to kind of wait for the macaroni to boil because that's when we get the dish all set together. Uh, now the water, the water in the the it's water boiling. in the pot is boiling, yes. So we're gonna add the macaroni. Right? We're gonna add the healthy macaroni because uh, uh, that can kind of offset the and unhealthiness. We them, if we cook them according to the package, uh, you you want to take them out a little al dente. Yeah. You don't want them to cook too much, otherwise they too too mushy. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, we could we cook them according to the package. Probably. Yeah, just if cook them. Six, seven minutes. Yeah. Just cook them according to the package. And over here, we the pancetta is done. Look at it; it's nice and brown. So we're actually going to start the next step in what in the pre actually the preparation for when the macaroni is uh, all done. So we'll be right back. Now the pasta is almost ready. We get ready with the eggs. We use egg sub sub Some egg beaters basically. Egg beater. Uh, one cup and uh, basically one cup equals four large eggs so if you really want to do this the real way I mean we're doing it the healthier way but if you want to do it the real way you put in four large eggs so we put in four I mean a cup of egg beaters now what do we do no now we gotta strain the macaroni. macaroni and basically we've got eggs in here and what's gonna happen is what we're gonna do is throw in the hot is throw in the hot pasta into this egg mixture here so that it um, so that it begins to cook and then from there we're gonna throw in the pancetta with whatever with a little bit of the, the uh, oil the fat from it so it gets a little more flavor and then douse it with some black pepper 
and some cheese. And this stuff is delicious. Again, this is we're trying to we're put it we're throwing a we're throwing a healthy spin on this usually not so healthy meal. That is for sure. So yeah, as we as we uh, the eggs they're gonna cook. Yeah. And now we're using about one pound of pasta and what you could use you uh, I think this recipe can make almost two um, almost two pounds of pasta you could you you you, uh, you had more more yeah eggs. I would you, say use like six you use eggs more, more pancetta instead of yeah that. use a little more pancetta instead maybe. of half a pound you can yeah. use three quarter of a pound or yeah. pound. And, so uh, we got this baby cooking as you see the eggs are cooking yeah it they, looks like scrambling yeah it kind of looks like scrambled yeah you're right and uh, now you we had the cheese yep here we add the uh, the Parmesan cheese if you don't have Parmesan what well, could you is there uh, any other? you could sub substitute Parmesan with the Romano cheese Pecorino Romano yeah and but the best way is it's the one with Parmesan cheese. Yeah. Parmesan cheese is the best way to go for this one. And doesn't that just look damn because, good already? Because of the Parmesan cheese, it melts better than the Romano cheese. Yeah. But doesn't that just look so good already? It's like, and this is pretty simple to make too. It's just like, you can't have this all the time. Like seriously, if you have it four times a year, that, that's pretty, that's pretty good. But usually we try to keep it pretty low. So now we're gonna throw a little. How much cheese do you think we're using? Actually, uh, about a cup, maybe. Maybe mm, a cup of, cup and a half. Maybe, no, no, not really. A cup. Because mm, I need these. I need these. Uh, these amounts for when I put up the ingredients, and how much. So yeah, you just want to incorporate all the cheese and the eggs together, and. From here, you want to throw in if the. You, if you use, if you use with Parmesan cheese, it gets sticky. That's what you need. That's when you need the the, the grease from the the bacon mm -hmm. from the, the pancetta yeah. with a little oil. This way, it, it doesn't make the macaroni stick all together. Mm -hmm. So and now we're gonna throw in. It, I I use. Fresh ground black pepper. Mm -hmm. You can use but, regular. Uh, you, pepper. you can use a regular ground, a regular black pepper. No. And uh, carbonara, uh, in, in English, that's that's coal. That's uh, that's what carbonara is. And uh, the black pepper, this speck of the black pepper in the macaroni, in the pasta, it's just like have a coal. Coal in the macaroni gives you this. Uh -huh. yeah, what does yeah. carbonara mean in in, uh, in ca ca carbonara means coal, coal. carbone, coal. Uh -huh. So the black black speckle over the black pepper looks like there is a, some coal in the macaroni. Uh huh. That's why they call them carbonara. And let me ask you this, Pop. Um, how much black pepper did you end up using uh, there? That must have been you, at least you, two you, tablespoons. You, no, 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 that's no, too no. much. No, maybe it. A tablespoon, maybe less. I think that was I think that was at least a tablespoon. So in case your pancetta does get all, a all depends how you like. If yeah. You like it, if you if you like spicy food, uh, you, extra, you can put like extra black pepper. Uh huh. Now in case your pancetta kind of cooled down while you were waiting for the macaroni to uh, boil, what you could do is just kind of rewarm it back up, which we are going to do, and then we're going to throw it into the macaroni. And now we had the pancetta to the macaroni. You see, there is the little oil. Uh, yeah. Grease now, if the, you don't want to use all that, you don't have to use the you, grease. You 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 could uh, you don't have to you, use all of it, you right? Could, uh, no, you you could you could drain them a little bit. Yeah, you can render out the fat. But as, it, uh, as you see, see, it keeps the macaroni not from sticking to each other and mm. be all one big clump of pasta yeah look at that though huh look at that looks yummy you got the you got the delicious crunchiness of the pancetta and the eggs and the cheese it's like where do you go wrong with this except maybe like heart attack but you know like I said just have this maybe once or twice a, 
a year, maybe three times a year, you'll be set. So we're gonna taste it. This this is the finished product. So ready, ready. Yeah, look to at that, huh? Looks delicious. Now, if you want, you can garnish it with a little bit of uh, fresh parsley, if you want. But let's give it a go. This stuff is so good. Get a little bit of little bit of the pancetta and the macaroni together. Mmm. You get the saltiness from the pancetta, and you get the and you get just get the nice creaminess from the eggs, and this is just so damn good. So this has been Pete, my country nineteen thirteen, and I want to thank my dad for being on this. Thank you so much, and mm -hmm. um, this has been another cooking with country nineteen thirteen and buon appetito. Mm-hmm.